Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team. Today I'm excited to share with you a fun fold card idea. I'm calling it the double flap fun fold. We received this card from one of our friends, Velma Hornada, for Christmas, and I thought it was so cute and such a fun idea for a fun fold card. So it has two little flaps that go this way, and then this one comes up and it has all of her information and everything in there. So, so cute. So I wanted to take this and recreate it and figure out how she did it so that I could share it with you guys. So for this card, you will need four different pieces of paper. You'll need a card base that will be 11 by four and a quarter. That could be any color um, of cardstock that you need it to be. Then an inside piece, I just do basic white for that, and that will be five and a half by four and a quarter. And then you'll need two different pieces for the two different flaps. So the bigger flap will be four and a quarter by three and a half, and the smaller flap will be four and a quarter by two and a half. And these will each be cut on a diagonal, just like that. Okay, and these two pieces I usually use designer series paper for on the little flaps on the front. So let me show you kind of how it all gets put together. So here's the smaller flap on the front and the larger. You can see those both are cut on the diagonal and then this comes up and your um, five and a half by four and a quarter inside piece covers up the two flaps here so you don't see um, where those are connected to the card base. And then it just all closes back up for a really cute fun fold card. I'm going to make one of these cards with you or at least show you how the flaps work. I have all four of my pieces here. The card base that's 11 by four and a quarter, the inside piece that's five and a half by four and a quarter, and then my two front pieces. This again is four and, a half, four and a quarter by three and a half, and this is four and a quarter by two and a half. We're going to start by scoring our two um, front flat pieces. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Trimmer, and I'm just going to score. I'm gonna look on my card that I'm making. This is what the card will look like, and I look and see, okay, on my cherries, the bigger piece, I'm gonna score on this side of the card because that's the side that the flap is folded on, okay? So I'm gonna just flip this over and score that at one quarter inch, just like that, okay? And then on this one, it doesn't matter which side we do, so we'll just do this side. but it will end up being the opposite side from the bigger piece, if you can see that, because they flap opposite ways. Does that make sense? Okay, so now I wanna show you how to do the diagonal cut on each of these. So I'm going to line up this pointed edge of my piece of designer series paper, the opposite side of my scored side, on this cutting track. This is my smaller piece of designer series paper that will be in the front of the fold, okay? So this is four and a quarter by two and a half. I'm going to line up this edge at one, one and an eighth on my lines down here. And then when I cut that, it will end up being one and a quarter here on, my, um, on this side of my diagonal cut. So I'm just gonna trim that. just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same with this, but I'm cutting from my score line here to this edge. So I'm gonna line my score line up with the track here, and then I'm going to line this up. I want this to be two and a half. I'm going to line this up at two and three eighths inch here. So you just want it to be an eighth inch before the measurement that you want. I hope that makes sense. And then you're just going to trim that. And then you have your two diagonal cuts. And I will show you then how to put this together 
on your card. So we're gonna start by opening up our card base and then we're just going to put adhesive on our flaps that we scored and just line that right up with the edge and bottom of your card and adhere it down. And then we're gonna do that the same thing with our bigger piece of designer series paper. Just line it right up with the edge and bottom of your card base, just like that. And then you're going to take your inside piece and we're just gonna cover up that inside so that you don't see the little scored pieces of our card just like that, okay? And then you'll just decorate it up. I use the ice cream swirl bundle on this card and I used the little ice cream cone. I put them on each of the flaps here and then that just kind of closes my card for me. And we just open it and it says, thanks for everything. So fun. So let me show you a few other cards that I've made using this fold idea with the lighter than air suite. So you have your hot air balloon there and then that just slips under and there's your card. Super cute for a birthday card. And then this is one with the adoring hearts bundle and this I just slipped under that cute heart so pretty just like that so fun I've loved playing with different ideas with this double flap fun fold card idea I'd love to see what you guys come up with with this idea if you haven't yet make sure to go and join us on Facebook at our Stamping Jill VIP Facebook group and you can post your cards there. We'd love to see them. If you like any of this product, make sure to check the links below. If you have any questions, make sure to let us know and make sure to give the video a like. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.